CNBC TV 18 Weekender. Welcome back in conversation with Varun Berry of Britannia. Varun, before going to break, we were talking about the future products, but uh, tell me about the recent past, your third quarter performance, marked by demonetization, 2% volume growth. When do we see volumes resuming, where volume growth resuming back to the double-digit terrain? It's going to take some time, Angulam. I, I think it's uh, the demonetization has, has definitely got the spirits of the consumers down. Uh, it's probably going to take three to six months. Every month we are seeing, you know, better results than the previous month. Uh, but getting back to where we were in, in the month of October will take three to six months. Probably, you know, there's going to be a little bit of uh, tepid growth in, in the first quarter of the next financial year. And thereafter we should, we should get back to, uh, you know, a, a, a pretty robust growth. Uh, environment. The bone of contention for Britannia so far has been the Hindi belt, you know, the company's market share lags out there. And I'm not drawing any parallel with a BJP right now, but you guys are a pan-India company. Gujarat, you all recently did fairly well. UP is the key uh, for the next leg of growth. What is happening out there? Can we expect uh, some big dhamaka there? Well, the markas can't happen because you know, <laughs> we, we are not looking at uh, you know, uh, strategies which are going to give us instant results. E there are some easy ways to do it, you know, drop price, give high discounts, all those are like dhamaka strategies, right. right? Where you can say, okay, you know, you know, I'll do this, I'll drop prices of a certain product and I'm going to get huge distribution, I'm going to get huge gains. But then you've got to cycle that the next year and, you know, it's going to get the whole competition riled up. So our strategy is do it slowly, steadily, but make sure that you get it surely up there and then you have the ability to sustain it. So what is your market share currently in the Hindi belt and what would you like it to be? We are early teens okay. uh, and I would think that we should be gaining at least two to three sh share points every year. How serious are you about the international business as a contributor to your revenue? So it's going to move slowly. I would say in the next five years if we can get from the six, seven percent that we get today to about 12, 13 percent, I would be quite happy with that. And this is without any acquisition. Okay. Um, but with acquisitions, if we have some good targets in the future, if we, if we see that, you know, we have a right to succeed and there's, there's, there's something which sort of uh, could take us there, uh, that could be a different trajectory. Are you guys evaluating any uh, acquisition options? Not as yet. Uh, this is not the time to do it. Will you guys be open to someone else acquiring you all? Not at all. Tell us a little about uh, uh, your relation with the promoters of the company because lately we've had a lot of these principal agent problems, right? The Tatas, we had uh, uh, even uh, Infosys, there was a bit of a skirmish between the boards and uh, the management. So how do you maintain that? I think uh, we've got, uh, first we've got, a, we've got a fantastic board, right? Uh, and the chairman, which is Mr. Wadia himself, uh, I find him to be one of the brightest individuals that I've interacted with. Uh, great sense for business. Uh, you know, he, he's over, over the years he's matured, he's, he's come to a stage where he really understands, uh, you know, the strengths and weaknesses of a business. Uh, very professional. Uh, you know, uh, I meet him, you know, and the team meets him once, once, a, day, once a month. And that day in a month, Frankly, all of us go back with a lot of value addition. You know, he understands and he adds value where, where he knows what to say. And where he doesn't, he says that I go with your judgment. So I think we've, we've got mutual respect. Um, you know, he, he respects me for what I do well. I respect him for what he does well. Uh, and it's a great relationship. So the Varyas are not looking to sell their stake in Britannia? Not at all. He, he's very... He's very happy to build this company to take it to a very different level. Taking the business to a very different level comes with its own share of competition. Competition is rife. How are you planning to keep up with that? You're absolutely right. The competition is aggressive. The competition is obviously uh, very competent. You know, you spoke about Patanjali, a very aggressive competitor coming into the market. You talk, spoke about Parley. Again, I think I have great respect for the company, you know, they're, they're, they're the oldest biscuit company and they've got, you know, a stranglehold in certain categories. Um, ITC, again, uh, you know, uh, fresh uh, into the business but doing extremely well. 
Uh, now, you know, with, with that kind of competition, with, with, you know, differences of ideology, differences of strategy, uh, different business models, uh, it's very, very important for us to make sure that we keep on the path as we determine for ourselves. Does this remind you of the cola wars that you had in your heyday at Pepsi? <laughs> well, th th those were at a very different level. Uh, frankly, the cola wars were the bloodiest wars that I've been through. Uh, those were at a very different level. This is fairly docile compared to uh, what the cola wars used to be. Now, now, the cola wars are also not what they used to be, by the way. So, Varun Berry is uh, a chief of the old block. He can fight whatever wars come in <laughs> from the competition right now because he's seen the bloody cola wars, as you said. Yeah, and I've seen it in many countries. Right. So, yeah, no, th this, is, this is nowhere near that intensity. So, you can take on anything that comes in the brisket space right now? Well, yeah. Uh, it's, it's not about taking on. I'm, yeah. I'm in the space of making sure that I keep ahead. And it's not, it's not like the Cola Wars. Cola Wars were about, you know, uh, it was just about winning at any cost. Here it's not about winning at any cost. Here it's about winning within the constraints, within the framework that we operate in. Did the packaging controversy affect your sales by any chance? No, not really. It's such a small escape. It wasn't, wasn't a big deal at all. Another company that uh, you have worked with is Unilever. They are also fairly aggressive getting into the food processing space. ITC, we had an interview with Mr. Sanjeev Puri. He has a 1 lakh crore target coming in from FMCG in the next uh, 13 years. What is your plan there? Uh, okay, now there are lots of questions in there. Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> so you are saying that uh, ITC is looking at expansion, which is absolutely true. They have shown in the past that they have gotten into different categories and they have got traction in those categories. Uh, Sanjeev, I've just met him once, uh, but very aggressive guy from whatever you read, uh, is really looking at building business. Uh, Unilever, obviously trying to build the food business. Uh, Britannia also looking at <laughs> building the food business. But you know, that's where the, that's where the game becomes interesting. On a humorous note, I mean, everyone is doing well. You've met Sanjeev once. You've done so much for Britannia. Do these guys never call you and ask you to join them? <laughs> no. You've never got any call from, say, Nestle or anyone as well? Not at all. And if you do, what would it take for Varun Berry to move out of Britannia? Uh, now I'm too old to, you know, to, to join uh, other companies. Um, <laughs> I have to do building a business, leaving a legacy, and that's that's what happy doing. Right, on that note, we'll take a short break. Come back and we'll see an unseen side of Arun Berry. CNBC TV 18 Weekender.